We think we know dogs pretty well. They're cute, they get along with us, and they have for a long time. But what about where they come from? Beyond wolves, answering that question gets pretty interesting. A good starting point is around 50 million years ago, when canine and feline ancestors diverged. Current research says canine's evolution took a big step towards modern dogs some 7 million years ago, likely shaped by climate change. Early canines were originally ambush predators, like some big cats, but as the landscape changed, so did they. Those ancestors were a lot smaller than most modern dogs, and more suited to life in and around trees, a trait primitive canines like the gray fox have retained. Grasslands spread, and canines adapted, gradually evolving into the pursuit predators they are today, unhampered by obstacle-filled forests, and eventually evolved into wolves, which are able to relentlessly pursue their prey in the open. The part that most people know is, as early as 30,000 years ago, humans domesticated the gray wolf. But exactly where and when that happened is something scientists are still trying to piece together. All modern dogs group together to the exclusion of all modern wolves. The hunt is now on to try and find that original wolf population that gave rise to all modern dogs. What's clear, though, is somewhere along the evolutionary process, dogs' ancestors left North America across the Bering Land Bridge. By the time they returned, accompanying humans some 14,000 years ago, they were dogs. Over time, and a lot of human intervention, they differentiated into countless different breeds, none of which resembles those earliest ancestors. For Newsy, I'm Sebastian Martinez.